At the beginning of the 20th century, our model of the atom was evolving rapidly. In a period of just over 20 years, a series of experiments and discoveries would radically change our understanding of the material world. In 1904, Thomson proposed the plum pudding model, a sphere of positive jelly with embedded negative electrons, like pieces of fruit inside a pudding. But in 1911, a New Zealand physicist, Ernest Rutherford, would make an important discovery while testing Thomson's model of the atom. Rutherford's famous gold foil experiment forever changed what we knew about the atom. Using a radioactive source, he fired a beam of positively charged alpha particles at a very thin piece of gold foil. A luminescent screen was placed around the foil to detect any deflected alpha particles. Because of Thomson's model, Rutherford expected that the particles would pass straight through the foil with little deviation. There should be nothing to stop the particles from passing straight through the positive jelly-like sphere. But what actually happened surprised him. While almost all of the particles did pass through as expected, there were some that were greatly deflected and others rebounded without passing through the foil. Rutherford concluded that the deflections were the result of a dense, positively charged mass at the center of the atom, what he called the nucleus of the atom. The discovery of the nucleus gave rise to Rutherford's nuclear model. With all the mass and positive charge concentrated in the nucleus, Rutherford theorized that the rest of the atom's volume was largely composed of empty space, where electrons freely orbited around the nucleus. But there was one problem. Physicists knew that orbiting charges would radiate energy and fall into the nucleus. In the following video, we'll see how a Danish physicist named Niels Bohr would solve this issue in 1913 by proposing the idea of stable electron orbits.